Deep for the floor, come on. And she's got him! Oh, yes! What a moment! Chloe Brennan, wow. who lifts the Diddy Stones. I gotta be honest, yeah. she walked out there and I, been, I went, okay. Okay, what's going on? In a weekend that has provided us with some incredible moments, wow. we just had another one courtesy of 140 pound Chloe Brennan. A lot of the time, I wow. think people that underestimate me and other women and think that we can only do like strongman specific stuff. And I felt a little bit written off before I tried in a way that when I did the honorary Dinny Stones. They kind of had an inkling that I could do it, but didn't expect me to do it. Like it was just this mad rush, like the crowd went mad, because it was a crowd of like people that don't really know anything about strength, so they were just happy when anyone did anything. And the guys that organized it went nuts as well, and they came up to me after and said like, we're really impressed, we actually didn't think that you were gonna do that. It was also really cool to prove people wrong and do it and smash it out of the park and then open up opportunities for women beyond that and prove that we're not to be written off and that we can, like you can literally do anything that you set your mind to. And it's really cliche, but it's so true. Like I've done loads of things that I never ever thought that I would do. And I think it's the lifted stuff that's given me the confidence to be able to do that and apply that attitude of I can do anything to all areas of life. I am Chloe Brennan, I am 26 years old. I am from Tamworth in England and I am the 2019 English Strongest Woman in the under 64 kilo class. I never expected to be fighting for a world title when I started this sport. When I went for the Midlands qualifier, I expected to come dead last. I never even anticipated qualifying for England's Strongest Woman. Like I've podiumed at every single England's Strongest Woman I've done. I've never placed below second place in England's Strongest Woman, which is just like, it's mental looking back on it now. And it's something that I'm really proud of and it's really cool. I know I can podium at World's Strongest Woman and that is what I want to do. And if I can do more than that, excellent. I'm one of those people, I don't want to set my goals too high in case I never reach them, but I also don't want to set them low because then I'll never surpass them. I'd love to win World's Strongest Woman. There you go. I'd love it. And I'd retire happy. Me, Mitch, Matt and Stig doing the Dinny Stones. So we go up every year together, the four of us, for a little holiday when it's the gathering. They're really special people. And then this me <laughs> lifting the Dinny Stones. I was the lightest person to ever lift the Dinny Stones that are a combined weight of 332 kilo which, so that was five times body weight, so pretty massive lift, pretty cool. And to be the lightest person to do it, it just makes that five times body weight even sweeter. <laughs> the Dinny Stones are two, I think they're granite stones that are linked to history with Donald Dinny. The big stone at the front is 188 kilo, the little stone at the back is 144 kilo, and basically you need to get the wind beneath the stones. There's also the honorary Dinny Stones at Matlock Farm at the Peak District Highland Games that I then did and was the first woman to ever lift those. That and it getting out there like it, it goes nuts on social media all the stone stuff and you then get women like oh, I'd love to try that and I want to do that and it just opens so many doors. Well, Chloe Brennan all 140 pounds of her are gonna go after both these Dinny Stones here. Came all the way from England just to lift these. I wasn't invited to do the Dinny Stones but did email around to get my invite showed the videos that I'd done and stuff got my invite there and ended up running from the main stage for my event 
to go and do it with Rebecca Roberts, who is the current World's Strongest Woman, and Donna Moore, who is three times World's Strongest Woman. Luckily, let me go last because I just competed, so I was to follow those two girls. Donna Moore will be the first woman, 318 pounds and 414 Come on, Donna. Get it up. pounds each way. First up was Donna, um, who I thought would get it. She'd done the Dinny Stones with straps in Scotland, um, and she missed out. Then Becca went up. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on. Oh, Almost come on. had it. And she missed out, so I was like, OK, no pressure. And I was kind of like, well, they've failed it, so if I fail, I'm not going to look stupid, but also if I get this, it's going to be really, really cool. Oh, come on now. Hold on to that thing. So the first attempt, it wasn't moving. The second attempt slipped back um, and actually landed on my glute and it really, really hurt. So at that point I was kind of like, I knew I had time left to go again, but I wasn't sure whether I was gonna do it. Matt looking at me, telling me still go. So even though I was in pain, I was like, it's gonna be really cool if I do this. And she's got him! Wow! Yes! Wow! Yeah! Unbelievable! I wasn't invited to do this, I asked to do it because it was the bigger girls and I was like, you know what, I've done the Dinnies in Scotland um, and I just wanted to prove a point and I think I, I did that. <laughs> the best thing to come out of all of this is having parents telling me that their kids are looking at what I'm doing, both girls and boys, because I think boys often think that girls can't do very much and seeing that it's like, oh, girls can be really strong and then the girls seeing it and thinking, oh, I could do that, because we never had that kind of influence growing up, it was all girls do dancing and whatnot so it's really cool actually that I get to be one of those figures that people can look at and think yeah I want to do that girl power We've got Chloe Brennan attempting the Ard Blair Stones that's cute old training diary with my PB in 2019 of 185 raw deadlift little back pain I, I remember when I did this it was like my first time a back injury and I just kept a record of like whatever anything hurt going to pick up a 115 deadlift or it wasn't even that, it was like 105 and just couldn't like, I literally physically couldn't pick up the bar like I pulled 200 last year like I know I'm strong enough and not been able to pick it up it's like quite demoralizing and feels really shit Welcome to the very first Arnold's UK official strongman log and deadlift for reps. On the stage here, hundreds of people are going to be cheering on the competitors in five different categories in the women which takes place today. Nothing but unadulterated strongman action. Chloe Brennan! Let's go Chloe. Oh, going for the split jerk. Now look at the timing on this, as she bends down, splits those legs like you've seen Olympic lifting. She's at a higher weight now, and again Chloe, let's get it, let's get it. Everyone is behind you. Notice the narrower stance. Good first rep. Nice pull Chloe. Yes. I'm competing at World's Strongest Woman in November. You're competing at? World's Strongest Woman. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Chloe is fighting for every single inch. Five seconds, Chloe. Five seconds. Pull, pull, pull. Oh. Unfortunately, mean man here said it was just after the 60 seconds. Let... Shout. <laughs> I'm counting it as five and I'm really, really happy. So thanks for the help. <laughs> I think from an outside perspective it's a bit ridiculous, like we just pick up stuff and move with it, but it's really addictive and it makes you feel really powerful, <laughs> confident and really good about yourself and getting a taste of that is what made me want to just go all in. I've been working real hard in this prep, I feel like I am physically in one of the best places that I've been, anyone that wants to try get past me are going to have to bring that A game. See you there. Just got to the gym, I'm training at CrossFit Tamworth. It's the 28th of October today, so not far out. Um, we're gonna train some log and yoke, ready for day one at OSG, so let's go.
Training for the log at the moment, it's eight kilo in comp, and although my barbell press is much higher than eight kilo, I really struggle to get them on the log, so we've been working on like a heavy single to try and get me used to the heavy load. And then we've dropped down and done an EMOM each week as well, which allows me to work more on my skill. So on yoke in the comp, it's, I think, then so it's like 260. I think it was going to be 250, but it's worked out around 260. Somewhere between there anyway. So it's a heavy ass yoke. So we're going to get used to a heavy load. On the back, I'm going to do five meter max. So the max weight that I can move well over five meters. If I'm like picking it up, putting it down, then it's going to be, I want to be able to get the full five meters. Last time I did this, I think I got around 255. So I'm looking around that maybe a bit more. To be fair, when I did yoke today, I didn't expect to move as well as I did with 275 kilo on my back. But you'll be like, you can see from my reaction on the video how cool that was. When I said cathartic, that's that is cathartic. It just comes out of you. And it just feels mega mint. Feels awesome. It's exciting. Even now, I'm getting all excited talking about it. As sad as it is, that's how it makes you feel. It just gives you like a proper buzz and. Like how many people have things in their life that make them feel like that? Like when you think about it, not many people. So like we're a fortunate bunch to have stuff like that that makes us feel so good. Hello and welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida. Welcome to the Ocean Center Arena and welcome to the official Strongman Games 2021. It has been 740 days since we've seen the official Strongman Games happen. The official Strongman Games is a three-day competition where 250 athletes battle it out over six events for nine World Strongest titles and three Giants Live qualification spots. It's pretty bloody big. The women today, under 64 kilo women, will be lifting just shy of 80 kilos for reps. How much do you weigh? Less than 80 kilos. There we go, so they're going to be lifting it's, more than you. It, throwing you overhead as many times as possible. It really is remarkable. And when you put it into those sort of terms, it really is something special. Let's make no mistake here. We are talking about the world championships for these guys. To win this means you are the absolute best in the world in your category. Day one at the official Strongman Games was the log for reps and the car walk. So first off, we had log for reps. It was 80 kilo and it was clean and once and then reps from the chest. As we went out, the lanes were set out. So there was four lanes, four girls were going at a time. 60 seconds, off we went. Well, Chloe Brennan is actually the lightest person, the lightest female to ever successfully lift the Dinny Stones. Chloe, Chloe is woman. absolutely amazing. Let's see what these girls can do. USA, Canada and England. You just see a lot of them just stabilizing themselves, trying to get that air in. On the day, I didn't get any reps. I walked out and I think I was too hyped. I was like too pent up for it and it just didn't work. I needed to be a bit more chill. Three British girls who tied for first on this event all getting six reps each. One other girl got two and two other girls got one and then everyone else in the field zero. So it was a bit of a anticlimactic event, to be honest. I think a lot of people had been getting reps in training and then zeroed on the day. So it was a bit, bit odd, but it worked in my favour in terms of points, so it wasn't too catastrophic. So going into the second event, the car walk, I was in joint seventh place with zero points with most of the field. The second event was the car walk. There's four lanes, each with a VW Beetle in, weighing 260 kilo, and the aim is to get to the other end of the 50 metre track in the quickest time possible. So I knew that Yoke was a good event for me and that I could place possibly in the top five on this event. Yoke is good, I've always gone for speed, but I'd never gone as heavy as 260 anywhere near. In fact, the two weeks before the comp, I think I did 260 on one occasion and 275, but it was only for five metres, so I hadn't actually done a full 50 metres at anything over 230. Because of zero in on the first event, I was out in one of the first few heats. 
so I was ahead of the other British girls so I knew I needed to put in a good performance. You've got to actually move through your hips, so just shuffle through the hips, fast little steps. You see on the end there in lane number four, Bowie Brennan moving really fast. They're not coming up high off the ground, they're shuffling along. That was a perfect run there by Chloe. What a performance from the British outfit. And she's going to be extremely happy with herself with that performance. Didn't manage a single rep in the log press. And I tell you what, that was a night and day performance there. From disaster in the log to rejoice in the car walk. In the end, I ended up doing the 15 metres in 13.5 seconds, which won me the event. And then second place behind me was Kate Connolly, who came in with 20 point something seconds. So I believe I was around seven seconds ahead of second place. I was really, really buzzing. and I'm still buzzing now. And I can say I am the best in the world at yoke in the under 64 kilo class. So after the first day, I was sitting in seventh with 19 points. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 2021 official Strongman Games. We come to you live from Daytona Beach in Florida. It is day two. Day one was an absolutely special set of events. We saw some fantastic strong men and strong women from around the world. In fact, over 22 countries represented here. Day two, event three, the deadlift ladder. So for this event, there are three lanes, each with five bars in, ranging from 145 kilo to 213 kilo. The aim of this event is to get through as many bars as you can in the quickest time possible. Training went pretty well for this. Uh, my max deadlift is 210 kilo, so I was hoping to get the fifth bar. I knew that it was in my reach if I trained well for it. However, because it's a ladder, you can't crank your suit up quite as tight as you would do for a single, which did make a difference. Look how comfortable that is. is going to fly through this. This is her event. And look at this. Four or five, nice and easy. On to the four, three, five. None of these weights have slowed her down yet. And still a very comfortable lift. She's going to bring the straps out for the big mammoth bar. 470 pounds, 213.2 kilos. After already pulling four times. Wow. And Rhiannon just showing her dominance in the deadlift. Unbelievable lifting there. On the day, I got three bars in the fastest time, which put me, I think I was fifth place on that event. I was a little disappointed. Obviously, I'd hoped for the fifth bar and I knew the fourth was in my reach, but I think I just rushed to the fourth bar. I completed the first three bars in 17.5 seconds, placing me fifth. Rhiannon Lovelace was the only girl in the class to complete all five bars, which she did in 29 seconds. And then Shannon, Kate, and Christy Matthews all got four bars um, in decent times as well. After event three, I was still sitting in seventh place with 34 points. Event four at the official Strongman Games, the carry and drag medley. 80 kilo sandbag, 80 kilo Husafelt, and then a sled drag back to where you started on the 15 meter course. Going into this event, I felt confident. I knew it was one that if I did well on, I could have won. So I was very excited going into this event, but also knew there was a lot riding on it. Training had gone well for this event. I was doing really well. Times were looking good, but I had been warned that the drag was really, really difficult. However, I didn't anticipate quite how difficult it would be. That doesn't necessarily help you on an event like this if you're going to give up when it starts to hurt. 175 pounds against All four ladies, nice and fast. She is back. sprinting in lane three. Look at that. <laughs> Holly McRae just sprinting. This all comes down to the drag. Started off really well, was doing, I was like kind of neck and neck with Holly McRae after the sandbag and the Husa fell. And then I went to drag it and it was just so much harder than I anticipated it to be. So instead of staying calm and collected like I normally would, figuring it out and just adapting things, I just started stressing, ragging it about. 
and not getting very far. I looked like a complete novice and bombed the event. Absolutely, just stopping them in their tracks, this sled drag. Chloe Brennan, you can see, just not managing to shift it whatsoever. You really notice that their light body weight is not going to help in this. You mentioned about the, the Masters. The Masters will have a lot more body weight, which does Three, help a little on two, these types of events. One. Effort just to get a little further. Oh, she's angry with herself. I don't think she needs to be too disappointed. She's given it everything she's got. Probably the first time we've seen her maybe underperform in the official Strongman Games 2021. After day two, I was still in seventh place, but ready to go through to day three. So for, for day three, the points are rejigged as if the finalists are the only people that have been competing through the whole week. So I was then moved up into joint fifth with Holly McRae, which was a really good position for me to be sitting in going into day three. Out of the finalists, Shannon Clifford was the only person to finish the carry and drag medley in 67 seconds. Official Strongman Games, day three, event five, the sandbag toss. This was quite exciting, it was set up head to head, so you had two massive frames next to each other. Six bags, nine kilo, nine kilo, 11 kilo, 11 kilo, 13 kilo, 15 kilo. Training had been going well for the sandbag toss, but it's one of those events that it can go so well in training, but if you slip up once on the day, then it can absolutely go to pot. So for this event, it was just about keeping cool, taking my time, doing one bag at a time. No one completed six bags, but there were three of us who completed the five. Rhiannon got it in 19 seconds, Holly McRae got it in 39 seconds, and I got it in 42 seconds. Now, Chloe, as a, when I arrived at the arena, she was already warming up with the sandbags. She looked so focused. She was pretty disappointed with herself after the carry and drag yesterday, and something tells me she's going to want to make amends here today. She's successfully made it through to the top 10, as you might have expected, but she is here for a very good performance. Chloe's a great athlete. She did exceptionally well on the car walk on day one. She's been a little up and down. As you said, a little bit, a little bit disappointed in some of her performances. She, she, she is quite close to the bar. We're seeing two very different styles here. She's a lot more methodical. Every bag going over though. She knows what she's doing. Here's this the is the band band. one. This is the one that so far we haven't seen go over. Oh! oh! Just onto the top of the bar. Did not go the way she wanted it to. I've seen that. Stop on that top platform. Oh, well done. I go over, but she's composed herself and she gets the 30 pound bar. 35 pounds. Oh. Do they have time to get it? Do they have time? Both athletes on the last bag. After event five, I was in fifth place with 25 points, and that was 20 points behind Rihanna Lovelace, who was sitting in first place. At this point, I knew that podium was out of reach, but I really wanted to get that fourth place that would mean a top four. British finish. Event six, the pinnacle of strongman, the Atlas Stones. So for this event, it was head to head again. You had six stones that were ascending in weight and the platforms were descending. So the first stone was the highest and then as the platforms got lower, the weight got heavier. The first stone was 68 kilos, I believe, and the final stone was 125. So on the stone run, no one actually completed all six stones, but there were six of us who did complete five stones. Going into that event, Rhiannon had a four point lead ahead of Shannon Clifford. It was gut wrench in this event. You had Rhiannon Lovelace who was in the lead. Stones is normally a really good event for her, but there was just a malfunction with the tacky that meant that she didn't complete the run. Got a really slow time on the stones that she did do. Um, I was really good for her and unfortunately it did lose her the title um, and Shannon Clifford won that event which then picked her into first place overall taking the title. And after the event Shannon Clifford actually ended up winning with a four point lead. Um, I'm one point off four so if I pull it out the bag it could be top four British girls so that's what I want um, but I just need to go enjoy it one stone at a time, do the thing and hopefully it'll be enough. Holly McRae in fourth place. 
who is one point ahead of Chloe Brennan. So she'll be looking to put in a solid performance here on the stones and give herself a chance of getting into the top four. And Chloe Brennan has really put in some stellar performances. And I mentioned earlier she was disappointed after her carry in drag. That was the only real performance where you thought possibly could have done a little bit better. But she really, she's a name, uh, and her star is very much rising in the UK when it comes to strong. Number one, 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 <laughs> the standard of uh, under 64 kilo athletes in the UK right now is just mental. Here we go, Chloe Brennan. Chloe moving nicely through the first three stones. On to number four, gets it up to a lap, no problem at all. Arms readjust, they go over the top, drives through with the hips, rolls the stone up her body. Good solid lift for both ladies. They are on to the fifth stone, 250 pounds now. And Matthews loads it. Are we going to see the first lady to do all six Here we stones? Go. Chloe has managed to lap that 250 pound stone. Go on, Chloe. Oh, well done. Well and done. And she gets it. Really committed with the hips. Two, one. Well done. Yes. Five stones for each of those ladies. And that, for me, that marks the end of their competition. That marks the end of the official Strongman Games. That marks the end of a really gruelling, tiring 72 hours of competition where they can finally breathe a big sigh of relief. PB. I just hope it's enough to beat Holly. I completed five stones in 56 seconds, which got me fifth on that event and fifth overall at my first World Strongest Woman at the official Strongman Games. It was a really exciting event. We had an all British podium with Shannon Clifford in first, Rhiannon Lovelace in second, and Kate Connolly in third place. And obviously, I was in fifth, so four of the top five in the under 64 kilo class were British girls, which just says a lot about the sport over here and how we are not to be underestimated. I was disappointed with fifth. I wanted fourth so I could be up there with the other girls. Um, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't gutted that Shannon, Kate and Ree beat me again. That's how it felt on the day. Um, but now looking back, I can see that being the fifth strongest woman on the planet isn't no bad thing. Going forward into 2022, I am actually hoping to move up a weight class into the 73 kilo class to see if a bit of extra mass helps with my static strength. I know I'm already there with the moving events, so I'm excited for a year of hard work, graft, uh, and to see what happens.